Hello friends. Today I will tell you about the new Mercedes GLC. Please subscribe to our channel and give it a thumbs up. And we are starting. Didn't you even notice at first glance that this is the new GLC? This is actually the intent, and there is a good reason for it, registration statistics. Because in 2022 alone, Mercedes brought 33,719 compact SUVs to our roads, representing 15% of all Mercedes vehicles in Germany. For this reason, Mercedes has chosen the motto, evolution of design, revolution in everything else. And the essence of evolution is quickly explained on the GLC Mercedes gave the GLC 6 cm more external length, which is fraternally divided by the wheelbase and overhangs. Visually, the Benz is now standard with avant-garde equipment, many chrome pieces such as said underbody protection and window surrounds are now standard. The most striking innovation at the front are the new headlights, which now narrow towards the middle and rest against the grille. Depending on the line of equipment, the grate also has a different shape. In the avant-garde line it is more classic and framed in chrome, the more sporty AMG line has a matching grille extended outward and different bumpers. At first glance, little has happened on the side. In addition to the window line that rises slightly towards the rear, there are new rims ranging in size from 18 to 20 inches. As an option for the GLC, 4.5 degree rear wheel steering can be ordered, which should significantly reduce the turning radius. The two-piece tail lights feature a three-dimensional lighting design, while a black trim element accentuates the width of the rear. Dimensions of the new GLC Length, 4716 mm Width, 1890 mm Height, 1640 mm Wheelbase, 2888 mm Trunk volume, from 600 to 1640 liters Trunk volume plug-in hybrid, 463 liters The new Mercedes GLC with factory code X254 uses the MRA2 platform of the new C-Class and offers improvements in all areas over its predecessor. Customers want more space, so they get an extra 2 inches, which also means more legroom. Visually, too, much resembles a mid-size sedan. Even in serial production, the new GLC is included in the avant-garde equipment line, which can be recognized, among other things, by the ventilation nozzles, reminiscent of aircraft engine nacelles. Like the C-Class, the GLC has a freestanding 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster directly in front of the driver. The center display is also slightly tilted towards the driver and measures 11.9 inches. The latest generation MBUX is on board, of course. And this technology sets the standard, firstly because the ergonomics are right, and secondly because the icons are huge and you can intuitively control them while driving. Thirdly, excellent voice control. And the space is just right, passengers have enough space not only in front on the comfortable AMG line seats, but also in the rear, thanks to ample legroom. Owners need more trunk space, so they get 50 liters more, now 600 liters. However, with hybrids, a few liters of storage space had to make way for a larger battery. The battery has grown from 12.8 to more than 32.2 kilowatt hour, so that the luggage compartment only swallows 463 liters. Unlike the C-Class, air suspension is available for the GLC, which is available in a rear-wheel steering package for 3,320 euros. Plug-in hybrids come standard with air suspension and rear-level control. Of course, the test cars were with air suspension and rear steering. The latter, in particular, is very attractive, responds directly and quickly, and gives good reviews. The GLC sits firmly on the road, is pleasantly comfortable to drive, has good noise isolation and is overall more nimble and nimble than before. Gasoline and diesel engines at launch, plug-in hybrids to follow in autumn. As for engines, Mercedes relies on 2-liter 4-cylinder units for both petrol and diesel versions. There will be three internal combustion engines with a 48-volt electrical system, and the Swabians also have four plug-in hybrids. The GLC 200 will start at 204 HP, the entry-level diesel will be the 220D with 197 HP. All-wheel drive is standard on all models. There are three plug-in hybrid options, one with a diesel engine. Gasoline hybrids start with the GLC 300E, which delivers up to 313 HP system power to all four wheels, and the larger GLC 400E even has up to 381 HP. 
diesel hybrid with 333 HP system power. Located between electrified internal combustion engines. It completes the standard sprint to 100 km per hour in 6.4 seconds, the GLC 400E takes just 5.7 seconds on a country road. With significantly higher battery capacity Mercedes promises a purely electric range of up to 120 km on WLTP, a revolution, Mercedes promises a range of up to 50 km for its predecessor. The question of price remains. Currently, the GLC is offered only in combustion engine versions, the GLC 200 model with a base price of €57,632, the top petrol engine GLC 300 costs at least €68,241. For diesel, GLC 220D, you need at least €60,238. The plug-in hybrids will arrive in the fall of 2022, but Mercedes has yet to announce pricing. If you like this video click on the bell. And that's all for today, bye.